Hi friends, so in this video we are going to discuss about computer arithmetic topic. So the topic is related to the computer architecture. So this is the subject code 14 CS2005. So first slide we'll discuss what is computer arithmetic. So computer arithmetic mainly uh, it's related to the arithmetic and logical unit of the computer. Okay, so here uh, the, these are the two things related to the uh, computer arithmetic principal concerns. So one is how, way in which the numbers are represented. So it may be related to here that is it deals with the methods of representing integers or real values. So second one after representing the values how the numbers will be manipulated. So example it can be used as the efficient algorithm will be used to manipulate the numbers. So the numbers will be manipulated with the help of hardware circuits or the software routine. In the second uh, slide so we'll discuss about arithmetic and logical unit. So what is the need for arithmetic and logical unit? So we'll use the numbers, number representation is there, that is the integer representation. So how the integer representation can be manipulated? So with the help of arithmetic and logical unit only, the numbers can be manipulated. So example, you can take the basic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So all these operations need to be carried out with the help of arithmetic and, log arithmetic and logical unit logic unit in the computer okay so the arithmetic and logic unit will performs arithmetic and logic operations on data so data it's it's meaning it's meaning that integer values okay so all other units in the system so example you can consider the register or memory or io uh, io devices all these devices will help the arithmetic and logic unit to get the data to the arithmetic and logic unit after performing all the uh, manipulations or operations those results will be uh, taking back to the memory so this is the need for arithmetic and logic unit in the system okay so the next uh, next slide this is the diagram okay so arithmetic and logic unit diagram so these what are the inputs to the arithmetic and logic unit so one is the control unit inputs will be there and second one is the register uh, that is inputs from the register Example values will be coming here and the control signals will be coming to the arithmetic and logic unit. So control unit may give the control signal when the operation need to be performed. That may be the control given by the control unit. And second one, the all the data values will be given through the registers. Okay, so example here output will be to the registers. The value may be stored in the registers or the value may be set to the flag register. So example where you can ask me a question saying that how the flag can be a uh, output. So example if you are adding uh, two numbers so if the numbers are going beyond the represent example 4 bit representation if you are going right example if you are adding two numbers then if it goes beyond the 4 bit representation example if the fifth bit is coming that may be the overflow bit. So here you can set the you can use the overflow register by setting 0 is the no overflow then by setting the value of one is a overflow register overflow value so this is the major operation or major uh, operations related to the ALU and next one is the next slide it will show is the integer representation so integer representation is the no fractional part will be there with the integer representation so there are three uh, things may be there one the integer representation may be a positive value or the negative value or the value of zero Okay, so it may be the integer may be a signed integer or unsigned integer. So this is related to the integer representation. Then what is what is mean by binary number system? So here arbitrary numbers can be represented in the digits of uh, digits of 0, 1 and minus sign and the period that is the radix point. So this is the example for the bina, binary numbers, binary number, binary number representation. So minus 1101 point then 0, 1, 0, 1, that is the base of 2. So this is the basic representation for the binary number system. Then second one is the purpose of the computer storage. Example, if you are using, if the, all these numbers are stored in the computer system, there is no advantage of minus sign. So because of that, the minus sign is removed. Only 0 and positives are used. 0, 1, that is a 0 and 1 will be used in the binary number system. And the value, that is a sign, uh, unsigned integers are used in this. Okay, so this is the uh, representation of integer. And the second next slide is a sign magnitude. Okay, so these are the representations for sign magnitude. And here the leftmost bit, if the value is zero, 
that means it means the positive number and if the leftmost bit is the 1 that it shows the negative uh, number okay so here you just take plus 18 and the minus 18 you just check the leftmost bit the leftmost bit is the 0 it represents that is a positive number and the leftmost bit is 1 that represents the minus 1 okay and the next one so what are the drawbacks related to this number system representation so drawbacks several drawbacks drawbacks are there but only uh, two considerations we are here we are seeing for one is addition and subtraction requires the consideration of both signs of the numbers and the relative magnitude so this is the first drawback and the second drawback is there are two representation for zero so this is related to zero representation here you just say, check in that is a positive zero and the negative zero so this is the major drawback of the this particular number system representation so here because of this particular issues so sign magnitude is rarely used in the alu arithmetic and logic unit and the what is the solution for this so most common scheme is the two's complement representation if we are using this two's complement representation we can avoid these drawbacks okay so this is a summary here so one is the what are the things we have discussed one is the computer arithmetic we have discussed what is computer arithmetic then what is the need for computer arithmetic in computer system and second one integer representation then uh, sign magnitude representation and what are the drawbacks thank you